In this video, we're going to look at loop recording. Now, I have an 8-bar solo section, and I want to record several takes so I can choose either the best take or maybe even different bits from each take. Now, there's two parts to loop recording. There's looping and then the recording settings. Now, looping, and this involves playback or recording, is done from the loop module here. And again, you right-click and make sure that loop module is enabled. And here's how it works. Basically, you set the start and end time. It looks a bit like the punch module. You set the start and end times either manually by typing in there, or you can make a selection and press that, and it'll use that as the selection and turn it on automatically, and you'll see the little loop markers, and you can drag the handles here, and they're respecting the snap grid right now. But one thing you can do is grab in the middle when you get those double arrows and move them, and when you move them like that, they override the snap grid. So just a good thing to be aware of. So I'm going to set this to the beginning and the end of the solo sections and I'll worry about the reprise coming in with that pickup I'll worry about that later so that's the part I want to loop record over those eight bars so we can drag the handles here to set them we can move the entire loop range with that or we can adjust things there and use that to grab a time selection and that globally turns looping on and off and we can also use the shortcut L so L turns it on and off and this works for playback or recording now let's look at the specific settings that we need to for recording I'm going to right click here to call up the record preferences and we have a couple of choices and there's a couple of combinations here now when we're in sound on sound mode and we have store takes in a single track enabled here when we loop record all of the takes are going to get stored on the single track and we can press the new take lane button new in sonar x2 which is a great feature and when we press the take lane button, it'll reveal all the takes. And the other thing we can do, which is cool, and I'm going to do this to show you just because it looks so good visually, is we can record with the take lanes visible. And then when you stop recording, you'll see all the takes right there. So that's what sound on sound and store takes in a single track. Now, when we have it in sound on sound and store takes in separate tracks, what happens there is that it'll create a new track for each take. And it's sort of the old fashioned way of doing it, a new actual audio track. I personally like this one better. Now, the other option we have is to use overwrite mode. And the way this works in loop recording is if we have this in combination with store takes in a single track, it'll create take lanes just like it does with here. But the difference is it'll mute each of the takes except for the last one. So that's really good if you're doing a punch in and you want to try a bunch of takes and you know you're just going to stop when you get it right. And you don't need the earlier ones. You just want to do it over and over again until you get it right. That's a good one because it'll leave your last take unmuted. And if you leave it in overwrite mode with this, store takes in separate tracks, it'll create new audio tracks for each one and nothing gets muted. And we optionally have this create new layer and overlap so that when you're looping, if there's an overlap with the take lanes, it'll create a new take lane. So I'm going to leave it in this mode for now. And I'm going to hit apply. And we have our loop range set. I'm going to record arm the track. And all I need to do is hit record. I'm going to open the take lane button there and you'll be able to see all of the takes being created when I record. So let me just scroll down just to give you some room and you'll see them all happening. Now what happens with the now time is I can position it wherever I want. And when I hit record, I'll hear my metronome count off for the one bar that I have set optionally if I want it and I'm going to leave it on. And the now time will start from here and it'll loop around but each time it comes back to the loop it goes to the start point so it only respects the now time position for the very first cycle through so you can get a bit of pre-roll so i'm going to leave those two bars and that should be fine
So there's loop recording, and you can see that when I hit stop, we have all the take lanes here that appeared. So just to recap here, looping for either playback or recording is enabled in the loop module here. We can turn it on and off with that, and we can set the looping range by either dragging these handles in the time ruler or setting them numerically over there, and we can double click or rather single click in the timeline here and get this double arrow and drag the entire range like that. Or we can select a time range and just hit this button and that'll take those on as the loop points. Now for recording, we need to be aware of our settings here. We have various combinations of sound on sound and overwrite and these. And basically when we store takes in a single track, we're going to be able to take advantage of the new take lane feature. And in this case, they're recorded to separate tracks. So that's it. In the next video, we're going to look at working with these take lanes.